Hello, all you awesome people out there, DMs, GMs, and narrators, whether you're running Tolis or anything else. I have a few updates I just wanted to tell you kind of about the channel, and then just a few things to show you about the Tolis website as well. Uh, first off, I am working on constantly upgrading this channel. One of those things is I've added this really handy pop filter. So hopefully my P's are a little less annoying, especially because I talk about Tolis a lot. Also, I have to give a huge shout out to a uh, patron supporter, awesome Discord user, Sereni. They have done just a fantastic job of helping me. They've helped me get onto Adobe Premiere. They have helped me work with the audio settings. So as you are hearing better sound on this channel, definitely give them a shout out because it has been a huge help. Uh, they also recommended I get the pop filter so that I make that sound even better. So that's really Really exciting then some just cool stuff uh, on the discord and the, the Tolis website and everything like that we are I have updated the website so there's a, a couple new things one the map is is new and, and a little bit different we've upgraded that so all it still works the same you know you click on the pins and stuff like that uh, you can also find like the YouTube channel on here full site access I'm always publishing the videos over here in the OOC which is out of character ca chat and stuff like that uh, constantly working on new videos for you folks I am always at adding new the toll list campaign journals for my campaign and if you want to listen to those obviously check out the tales under the spire which is video podcast i guess that's kind of a weird way to define that something else if you use the the website on mobile which i hope you do i have eliminated the map from when you first load the the mobile website the reason for that being it makes the website way faster and then also it's easier to scroll past that map if you're not trying to get to the map right so what you do now if you're on mobile is you just click click to load the map and then that will load a completely separate page on your mobile device which will hopefully make your experience a lot a lot easier and, and better to work with you know it still functions the same it puts the tech stuff the all the different pins and whatnot down to the side you can still click on those everything still functions the same and everything like that uh, which is hopefully that helps your mobile experience be a little bit better when you're on a mobile device something else really cool if you didn't know about this come up here to DMs reference and you can always click on homebrew and we have got some really cool stuff that we're I'm just just constantly adding adding to this so Anasidora's elements I mentioned in uh, one of the YouTube shorts if you're not watching the shorts check those out they're just real quick easy off the cuff stuff that I've been doing uh, the shadow raven wondrous magic items this is another discord user so discord user created this discord user created this this one I made up myself uh, female human bard and this is the first time I did this I was pretty pretty proud of this and I thought it was really interesting um, I gave so, so this is just a, a random NPC that I generated to use in my game so you'll hear or see her name pop up up whenever I catch up to the current posts with the uh, Tales Under the Spire game. But what I did with her specifically to help you out more was I actually created a plot hook. And then on top of the plot hook I created, I also gave you specific hooks into locations where you could wind up seeing her. And I even modified these locations. So if I go into Raster's Weapons, we'll come down here and you'll see there's a homebrew encounter and it says you could encounter her getting information about her newfound magical longbow. Uh, you could also potentially like you know you might want to wind up buying this longbow from her she could be selling it to Rasser, stuff like that so i tied all that together that was the first time i've done this with this npc but i'm hoping to do more and more and more of this to help you folks out in addition to creating those new location options stuff like that so keep an eye out on that homebrew section and there's just i'm always trying to add stuff to this i've also been finding some just fantastic artwork that goes with uh, Tolis. This one was just hilarious. I couldn't pass up on this. I had to Photoshop this a little bit from the original. Uh, you need to go check out the, the map artist. But this is uh, <laughs> Arnie Shiyayo Yamig Home. And uh, anybody that's watched a movie within the past 40 years might recognize this. And I just, the guy posted this map and I could not avoid sharing this because it just made me chuckle so much. Um, but <clears throat> I also mentioned down here the different places you know it'd work in River, Rivergate Market or Rivergate South Market North Market Market whatever and that you could include this guy as an NPC so look at this map see if you get who it really is and uh, get back to us on that this is just a fun section I'm, I'm just constantly trying to add to this because I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys to run your game and there's even like some homebrew spells and stuff in there so I'm just I'm constantly trying to add to this to make your life easier to give you new fresh stuff and uh, the if you haven't used this already the randoms encounter lists 
is just fantastic. So what I do is I actually say, uh, I have I just run a random number generator between one and 317. There's this really cool encounter matrix that shows like if you're on the docks, here's what might pop up if you're in the guildsman district, whatever. I like to do it just totally randomly and then see what comes back. But super exciting, I am working on programming an actual random encounter genera- generator where you'll be able to just click and say give me a random encounter and boom it'll pop up i'm working on including in that like the npcs that i'm working on creating and some of the other stuff like that so where the in- random encounter generator will be homebrew stuff it will be tolis specific stuff uh, or i'm sorry i should say tolis canon right like created by money cook games there is an awesome section if you have not joined our tolis discord yet and you're running a tolis game you have got to get on there it's totally free There is not just myself. There's like, we've got 200, I think we just passed 220 members, which is phenomenal. It's so cool for such a a niche product to find this much support. We even have an adventure ideas section where people are constantly posting just super, super cool ideas in here. And everybody's just constantly giving out great advice to say, hey, how did you run this encounter? How did you run that encounter? How did you handle this NPC? It's just, everybody, there's just great, great advice happening on there. And if you're not there yet, please, jump on there and and check that out uh, if you're not a you know DM access member of the website yet to protect money cook games uh, intellectual property what I do is you have to go to the contact page on the website and you have to upload proof that you own the book it shows you if it's a digital version physical book etc cetera, etc cetera. check that out that way you get full access because if you don't have full access to the website then what you wind up doing is you click on something and you see the notification that says hey this contact is protected by copyright so then you can sign in or or send it in or whatever and then if you don't have it already obviously go buy the the book because this is the greatest setting of all time right the let's see goat is greatest one of all time so like just sat would be greatest setting uh, just, just so at <laughs> sorry uh, I didn't write a script for this if you couldn't tell and so uh, this is this is going up about as well as you would expect <laughs> for my patrons thank you so much I have to give a shout out to all of my patrons I I can't believe that I have patrons this blows my mind I watch these massive channels that are like these just epic DMs like you know Matt Cove and and these other awesome guys so I cannot thank you folks enough it's amazing that anybody is a patron for me I am really trying to get to the point where I can create patron specific content that is exclusive to you guys what I have to be very careful of I cannot legally produce any Tolis specific content even if it's my homebrew stuff and put it behind a paywall Monty Cook Games has probably one of the best fan use policies I've ever seen Uh, if you're curious about it just go check out Monty Cook Games um and they have uh, a great fan use policy and it's it's one of the like what's the word like nicest or most open that i've ever seen so they are really 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 accepting and supporting of people doing fan use content the fact that they tolerate my website's existence is is mind-blowing to me right i mean they're a publisher and i'm showing some of their stuff but they know that i'm just trying to promote them i've been talking to them about that but for me to create tolis content if i create anything that ties into tolis like we're talking about that npc where i say you can meet her here Monty Cook Games just says you're absolutely allowed to do that. You're absolutely allowed to publish it, but I'm not allowed to put it behind a paywall. Therefore, I can't do anything that is TOLA specific for my patrons because I'll be violating their policy and I do not want to do that. They've done too much awesome stuff. I do not want to upset them. And so what I will have to wind up doing, any patron specific content that I create is going to have to be like generic. I'll just say, here's an NPC that you can use. If I ever created an adventure or module or anything like that, I would not be able to use any of the Tolis locations names any of their NPC names and honestly like as you folks know my channel's main focus is Tolis so if I create any of that stuff I want to make it Tolis specific so I'm just gonna have to make it public so if you want to back me on patreon then you're just helping me make more of these videos you're helping me pay to to maintain and always update and, and upkeep the website and everything like that so I greatly appreciate the folks that already are if you want to back me great no pressure it's just a, a wonderful thing the one patron benefit thing I am doing right now is most of these videos, not this one, I write a script for. 
And when I do that, I pre-release that to my patrons so that they get early access to see what the script is. They can review it. I've even had some of my, my patrons are awesome. They say, hey, you misspelled this word. Hey, I think you said this, but maybe you meant to say that. Hey, here's an idea or how you could change this and stuff, which has just been so cool. If that's something you're interested in, even if you back me at the $1 level, go ahead and, and let's give that uh, a shot. Something else that I have toyed around with and I went ahead and turned on because I just want to see what happens. Um, I am reading all of these articles about people who are professional DMs, that they are running games for pay. I will never run a live game. Like I'm not going to, I have no time to sit down and run a four hour game, but I have added, this is psychotic. I have added a hundred dollar a month patron level for doing a play by post campaign. And it obviously will be a toll list campaign. I, I have absolutely no faith that anybody is going to sign up for that. And if they don't, that is completely okay with me. I just wanted to try it because I've read so many articles out there. If that's something you're interested in, check that out. Uh, I'll think you're like the coolest person in the world if you're actually willing to pay me to to narrate a Tolis campaign for you. So uh, that's just something I'm putting out there. You know, if I got five people in a play by post game like that. We would actually run it on the Tolis website. I, I have been working on setting up my own play by post system through the Tolis website. And I just, I think that'd be really cool. Again, I have zero expectation that I am even worth that or that anybody will do that, but I'm just, I'm pulling the secret. If anybody remembers that terrible movie from a decade ago, and I'm just going to put it out there. So uh, we'll see. We'll go from there. And as always guys, please leave comments down here. I absolutely thrive on your comments, on your feedback back. I'm always trying to do whatever you folks need. So don't hesitate to shoot me an email to post something on Discord. And the, there's a there's a whole channel on Discord just about videos. So if you have a video you want done, uh, then that's something, you know, I, I want to hear from you because the whole point of this channel is to make your life easier as a narrator. And so if you tell me this would make my life easier, well, I, I want to do whatever I can to make that happen. So again, thank you so much for, for your support. I can't believe that anybody watches this stuff or whatever. So I'm just glad it's helping anybody. If you didn't know about the website already, go check that out, sign up. Uh, I'll, I'll say one more thing. I run another little website that I, I publish infrequently, uh, but it's some cool stuff that we're doing over here I'm really excited about. So it's d20.pub. I don't talk about it as much, but it is on there. There's some really cool resources on here. Uh, there's some of my videos and stuff like that on here as well. So check out that website also if you're, you're interested in some extra stuff. And you can also sign up to get my MailChimp notification. So I'm sending out emails. Most of those are totally specific right now, but go to either one of those websites. You can click on newsletter, sign up, and put in your email address if you're not already subscribed. So uh, I talked way longer than I meant to. When don't I? And I just, I can't thank you folks enough. If you made it to the end of this video, you know, uh, comment flugelhorn. So I know that you made it this far. And as always, leave a comment, like gong the bell for the algorithm and all that jazz. And thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let me know and uh, I'll answer them as best I can either in the comments or on discord. Peace out. And I hope you stay out of the shadow of the spire.